Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Summer's winding down, which means it's that time of year again, back to school season. Whether you're excited for the fresh start or clinging to those last days of freedom, one thing's for sure, a little preparation goes a long way. From gathering school supplies to setting academic goals, we've got you covered. We really hope you find this worthy of sharing with fellow parents and family who have kids headed back to school. If you end up watching the whole video and want to tell us what you found useful or what we messed up, we'd be unbelievably grateful. We make these videos for you and always read the comments. Now let's dive in. Number one on our list might seem obvious, but trust me, it's crucial, gathering those school supplies. This is the foundation for a successful school year. Check the school's website or contact the teacher directly for a specific supply list. This ensures you get exactly what your child needs. Often teachers have preferences for certain brands or types of materials. These preferences can be based on quality or compatibility with classroom activities. Involve your child in the shopping process. Let them choose their backpacks, lunchboxes, and even some fun stationery. This makes them feel more connected to their school experience. This not only gets them excited about the new school year, but also gives them a sense of ownership over their learning tools. It can boost their confidence and enthusiasm. Consider investing in some organizational tools as well. A well-organized study space can greatly enhance productivity and focus. Pencil cases, folders, and desk organizers can make a world of difference. They help keep everything in its place, reducing stress and saving time. And don't forget about technology. If your child needs a laptop, tablet, or calculator, make sure to get those squared away well in advance. These tools are essential for modern learning. Remember, having the right supplies isn't just about checking things off a list. It's about setting your child up for success. Proper preparation can make a significant difference in their academic journey. All right, number two on our list is all about regaining structure after those gloriously unstructured summer days. Establishing a routine. It's time to bring back some order and predictability into our lives. A consistent routine is key to a smoother transition back to school. It helps everyone know what to expect and reduces morning chaos. Our bodies and minds thrive on predictability. When we know what's coming next, it reduces stress and anxiety for both kids and parents. Start by gradually adjusting bedtimes and wake-up times a week or two before school starts. This helps everyone get used to the new schedule without a sudden shock. Ease back into the earlier wake-up calls to avoid those first day of school zombie eyes. A gentle transition makes mornings more pleasant. Create a predictable schedule for homework, chores, and extracurricular activities. This ensures that everything gets done without last-minute rushes. Designate specific times for each task and try to stick to the schedule as much as possible. Consistency is key to building good habits. Encourage healthy eating habits by having regular family meals and packing nutritious lunches. A balanced diet supports better focus and energy levels. The goal is to find a rhythm that works for your family and provides a sense of structure. A well-planned routine can make the school year more enjoyable and less stressful for everyone. Our third tip is all about conquering those first day jitters and reducing anxiety especially for younger students or those starting at a new school. How do we do that? By visiting the school beforehand. Walking into a brand new environment on the first day can be overwhelming for anyone, let alone a child. Start by taking a walk around the school building. Locate important areas like the classrooms, cafeteria, library, gym, and restrooms. If possible, try to meet the teacher and see the classroom before the school year officially begins. If your child will be riding the bus, take a practice run of the bus route. The goal is to make the school feel familiar and welcoming. Okay, tip number four is all about building bridges and establishing a strong foundation for communication and collaboration throughout the school year. It's time to talk about meeting the teacher. Meeting the teacher allows you to put a face to the name, which can make communication throughout the year feel more personal. It also gives you a chance to share important information about your child's learning style, strengths, challenges, and any special needs they may have. Think of this initial meeting as an opportunity to establish a partnership with your child's teacher. By opening the lines of communication early on, you're creating a collaborative environment. Encourage your child to come along and introduce themselves to their teacher. 
We're halfway through our list, and tip number five is all about setting the stage for academic motivation and progress. Setting goals. Setting goals is a fundamental step in achieving academic success and personal growth. Goal setting, when done right, can be an incredibly empowering tool for students of all ages. It provides a clear direction and a sense of purpose, which can be highly motivating. The key here is to involve your child in the process. When children are part of setting their own goals, they are more likely to take ownership and feel responsible for their achievements. Start by having a conversation about their aspirations for the upcoming school year. Discuss what they hope to achieve and what areas they want to improve in. Help them break down those larger goals into smaller, more manageable steps. This makes the goals less overwhelming and more achievable. Instead of aiming for a vague goal like doing well in math, encourage them to set specific goals. For example, aiming to improve their grade by a certain percentage or mastering a particular topic. Goals don't have to be solely academic. They can be related to extracurricular activities, personal growth, or even social skills. Encourage a well-rounded approach to goal setting. Revisit these goals regularly, celebrating successes and adjusting the plan as needed. Regular check-ins help keep the momentum going and allow for any necessary adjustments to be made. All right, let's talk about the physical environment where learning happens, the study space. Our sixth tip is all about creating a dedicated, organized, and distraction-free zone. Even a small corner of a room can be transformed into an effective study space with a little creativity and effort. The key is to designate a specific area that's solely dedicated to learning. Once you've chosen your spot, it's time to declutter. A clean and organized workspace does wonders for focus and concentration. Consider the lighting. Natural light is fantastic for productivity. If natural light is limited, invest in a good desk lamp. A comfortable chair that promotes good posture can make a world of difference. Next comes Memory Lane, revisiting last year's triumphs. For tip number seven, we're taking a trip down Memory Lane, academically speaking, of course. Reviewing material from the previous school year can boost confidence and set your child up for success. Our brains are like muscles. The more we use them, the stronger they become. Start by gathering up old textbooks, notebooks, and assignments. Encourage your child to flip through them, identifying areas where they felt confident and areas where they might need a little refresher. Turn the review sessions into games, quizzes, or even online challenges. The goal is to strategically revisit key concepts and build a solid foundation for the year ahead. Tip 8 Beyond the Books – Exploring Extracurricular Adventures While academics are essential, it's equally important to nurture our passions and explore new interests. Encourage your child to explore activities that align with their interests. Participating in extracurricular activities teaches valuable life skills like teamwork, leadership, and time management. It also provides a sense of belonging and community. When choosing extracurriculars, avoid overloading your child's schedule. Community programs, online courses, or even self-directed projects can provide equally valuable learning experiences. Our ninth tip is about navigating the social scene, mastering the art of connection. The social aspect of school can be just as important as academics. Equip your child with the social skills they need to navigate friendships, peer pressure, and social dynamics. Start by having open and honest conversations about the importance of kindness, empathy, and respect. Role-playing can be a fun and effective way to practice social skills. Encourage your child to join clubs, sports teams, or other extracurricular activities. Let your child know that you're there for them, no matter what. Be a listening ear and a source of unwavering support. Finally, mental health matters, prioritizing emotional well-being. Our tenth and final tip is perhaps the most important one of all prioritizing mental health. The back to school period can bring about stress, anxiety, and a whole range of emotions. Create a safe and supportive environment where your child feels comfortable expressing their feelings. Normalize conversations about mental health. Encourage healthy coping mechanisms such as exercise, spending time in nature, and practicing mindfulness. 
pay attention to any changes in behaviour, sleep patterns or academic performance. If you notice any red flags, don't hesitate to reach out to a mental health professional. Remind your child that they are loved, valued and supported unconditionally. And there you have it folks, our top 10 tips for a smoother, less stressful and more successful back to school season. By following these steps, you can ensure a smooth and successful start to the new school year. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips and advice. See you next time!